Hey guys, welcome to Bitcoin as up. In today's video, we'll be looking at the Quiet Precision GPC 2.0. So the GPC 2.0 nowadays is goes around $241. And I have decided to get it, get an upgrade on my GPC. The original GPC that I have is a Amazon GPC 1.0. And well, since the price is not it's not that much more, so I decided to run with the Quiet GPC 2.0. So let's take a look at it. There's some changes between the 1.0 and 2.0. Now the 1.0 Amazon, I already saw that, so I can get a side-by-side -side comparison. But there's a few things that um, I, I'm sure you probably know. One is the the retention, the three comma brand. Right now they have a handle. The 1.0 only has the vertical panel here, so the handle will help you open and close the comma brand. Now the 2.0 does not include a um, 3 map pouch or integrated 3 map pouch but they do have a integrated pouch but there's no divider for 3 different Macs and in the 1.0 we have the elastic bands for retaining the Macs and on top this job is oh this job is to interchange with the uh, come up with, or if you want to add more security, you can loop it on here, so you get a one inner, uh, one inner retention, or one in inner band for re retaining the JVC. So on top, there's the main pouch, and there's a few elastic band here for you to retain some of the stuff, maybe a multi tool or something like that. And on top, this is the quick detach mechanism. So let me open up the shoulder strap. So as you're pulling this, so as you're pulling this, you're re releasing the, un you're unbelting the shoulder strap. So it's for quick detach. And the solder pad, it feels like there's some, it's a little bit of elastic material, but it's not a thick padding. So for those of you who are carrying a lot of stuff, you may want to change to a thicker padding uh, solder pad. Let's go for the back. At the back, you get your adjustment uh, elastic Band, I mean the, the elastic strap for adjustment the the size of the carbon bands, and you get some moldy, some velcro, and this is the jack handle, and you get the two zipper at the side. This is for fitting the zipper back, which I have also got, but I'll do a review on this later on. And the inside. where you store your plate at the side you get a elastic material this is nylon and you get a mesh on the top so it's the same for the in uh, the back of the JPC now the place I'm, I'm using for airsoft but the place that I'm using I'll be using is the Emerson hard plastic medium size oh and this is a large size APC uh, sorry JPC and the medium plate still fits quite well in it and the reason why I'm using the hard plastic plate instead of those um, EVA foam plate is because I think a hard plastic plate will help the carrier to stand to stand more firmly so the Amazon medium size plastic plates can still fit in the large JCC and in the front I'm going to I also got the APS flat pouch so I'll be attaching this in the front so and my zipper bag at the back so this will be my GPU setup I'll 
Wie ich drüber das Selfie-Video wieder an. Und die Kamerabands. Die Modis ist actually in the top layer. So if you're trying to mod the whole things, it might get too thick for some of the attachments. So just to notice the mod is actually on the front layer. So at the front, in these two sections here, you can actually get a adapter buckle or a, a, a plastic buckle. It is for different uh, front attachment traffic settings. So maybe the Mayflower power or the Haley strategics, you can get a buckle attached to this little piece here. So you can snap on the buckle, put on your attachment in front. So if you don't need it, you can tuck it back inside. So this is the quick review on the JPC210. Please name it in the comments if you want to see more. And again, as always, please like and subscribe and see you guys next time.